Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in for this one. Today we got a little project, a little different kind of video than what we normally film. And what that is, is going to be on a bait wall. And you've probably seen other fishermen and YouTubers do this. And basically I'm doing this to cover two main issues. The first one is that I need a proper background, film outros and intros. Because I always struggle with like lighting or the environment just looks weird. So I figured I could cover that. And then secondly, I struggle with tackle organization. I know a lot of fishermen struggle with that too. Like for me, there's always tackle spread all over the house and it's hard to find certain baits sometimes. So I figured with this bait wall I can cover those two issues and hopefully help some of y'all out with the same thing. Another little twist of this project is that the backbone or what it's built on is a little different from what is normally done. And what's normally used are called pegboards and I'll pop a picture up right there. With those, you can attach accessories and you can do the same thing with what I got, which is called a grid wall rack. And I have two racks and what they're gonna do is also allow me to attach those accessories and they look more professional to me. They look like something that came right out of a store. I personally like that look a little more. And also this whole project was done pretty affordably. I didn't have to spend very much money on it. So that'll probably be a benefit for some of y'all trying to do the same thing. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so we've now gathered all our materials. We're about ready to get started. As you can tell, we have two rods there. I didn't actually mention those. My plan is to put those on either side of these LED lights here. It runs all up to there and then throughout the entire room, but I think that'll add to the looks of this whole project. I think it'll make it look better. And then we got the two racks right there, which I'll also probably have on either side of the LED lights. And then finally we have all the accessories down there, which we're gonna use to store all the baits on. So we'll go ahead, probably make a time lapse of just laying some of this stuff out. All right, so we've now completed that step where we went ahead and put the racks up and then also those rods back there. I have the controller right now also for the LED lights. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And that is the look we're going for right now. We're gonna have different accessories all lined up here and then we're gonna have the baits pile on too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to this next step. I think that's gonna be the more difficult part, which is just figuring out where I wanna put all the hooks. I already have a general idea, but we're gonna go ahead and get moving into that. And then after that, we're gonna start hanging the baits. All right, so we've now completed that step, adding all the accessories and stuff to the wall, as you can see. Now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the hard part, which is adding all this gear to the wall. So we'll go ahead and make another time lapse of that. Okay, so we've finished for the most part. We've added most of the baits behind me, as you can see. The only thing we have left to add is gonna be the line over here, and then we're trying to figure out how to add these buckets of plastics to the wall. I don't really know how at the moment. I think it's possible if I take like two hooks, put them together, and then feed them through like the corners of these little buckets, as you can see. I think I can maybe fit some of those hooks through the pockets, so. We're gonna add these few finishing touches, and then we'll be done. All right, so we finally finished. This is what it's looking like.
All right, so we got our soft plastics here, taking up these four rows on each side. Then we got our reels here and here on each side. We got terminal tackle there and there. We got some more baits and then baits by the pound actually right here. And right here, we just got some of the leftover baits, stuff that wouldn't really make sense to be put up there. And then lastly, our line is gonna be here at the very bottom. All right, so we've completed the project and accomplished our two goals, which were to have proper tackle storage and also have a place to film outros and intros. So I hope that maybe helped you with the same issues. And also, I got to recommend if you're going to do a project like mine and if you're on a budget or you don't want to spend too much money, I definitely recommend looking for used product. So both my grids here actually were both $25 total, like combined. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. That's a really good spot to find some pretty good deals um, on used products. So I recommend that. And also these, the accessories I got and all the hooks, those weren't used. I got those brand new just because I couldn't find any on Facebook marketplace or any sites like that and they weren't that expensive like I think combined both of those the hooks and the accessories were maybe 40 bucks and also if this whole look isn't for you then I definitely recommend checking out pegboards they're gonna be a little less expensive so that's a good thing about them but I picked this look just because I like how it looks a little more and I know a lot of people haven't really tried this so so hopefully this video was helpful to some of you and also I gotta say this we have a special video coming here soon on basically my dream setup here. It's uh, definitely the nicest setup I've ever held in my hand. It's a Corrado DC and a uh, favorite emperor. I won't talk anymore about that, but keep your eyes out for a video on that and make sure you have that subscribe button turn gray and also have that bell notifications turn on all so you get notified whenever I make new uploads. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one.